Hello and welcome to this last section of the course, Other ML Topics with Text. In this final section, we'll go a little broader in what you can do with machine learning and natural language processing. Starting first of all by stitching all the currently seen topics a little together, and then moving over to some interesting ML and NLP techniques and use cases, such as topic modeling, RNN text generation, and machine translation. And finally, we'll point you to some further reading topics and close everything off nicely. So, first up, stitching it all together. We'll review with an end-to-end -end example case where we will try to structure all topics and tools around it. The use case we'll be using is the classification of documents into several classes, for which we can use both shallow learning and deep learning techniques. So first of all, remember this one. This kind of showed all the steps from data ingestion up until putting your model into production. And indeed, in the case of document classification, we can first ingest the data, after, yeah, of course, playing around and getting a sense of it, then moving to text processing and document pre-processing. So this means cleaning the documents and performing tokenization and lemmatization. And let's suppose from all of these lemmas and words, we only want to obtain certain entities. We can do that with entity extraction. Let's say you have a recipe text, for example. I can imagine an exercise where you only want to extract food and preparation method entities to do your classification with. After this, you'll need to get your data ready for machine learning through some feature representation, perhaps. Now, let's follow the shallow learning path for a minute. We can do feature representation with TFIDF, as we have seen, and then we can do our text classification with a linear SVM example. Following the deep learning path, we can use word embeddings for our feature representation and then go on and use a convolutional neural network for the classification part of it. In this site, I've each time placed in which section or video you can find the discussions about this topic. And in this slide, which tools we've been using for each part. Just to try and show you how most things we've connected of how we covered are interconnected. But we can build further on this. Up until now, We've kind of seen some topics which cover a really broad area, or use cases which occur practically everywhere, to lay the groundworks. Now, NLP is a city, it's not a building. So, let's see what other big topics can be found, because those topics can be kind of advanced, and we don't really have the time to go in-depth in any of them. So, we're just gonna briefly touch on them.